such a proud feeling today to walk Lucy down the aisle. Absolutely amazing. And it's just another memory of loads and loads of memories built up over the years. I always remember, you know, first time holding her, thinking, wow, life really does change. But really, for the better. Absolutely amazing. I remember leaving the, her and her brother to go to work one day. And you were probably about 15 at the time. He was about 13. I left them in the house and said, don't kill each other. I'll be back tonight. So I went off to work quite happily. They got the phone number and whatever else. I got a phone call from Lucy. I thought, nothing of it. I'm sitting having my lunch. And at lunchtime, somebody comes up and says, your kids are in the shop. I said, what? <laughs> so I went down and there's the two of them standing there. Him looking like he's getting in trouble for it, and her pleased as punch with herself. <laughs> <laughs> because she'd managed to organise everything. She'd got on the computer. She'd actually had phoned around the shops in Lowestoft to find out which one I was actually working in. So she knew which one to travel to, organise the buses, organise the trains, and then find a way around the town she'd never been in. And I think that kind of sums up Lucy, that nothing's going to get in her way. She puts her mind to something, she's going to do it. She's got a sense of adventure and it's just wonderful to watch. And I think it's encapsulated in the fact that she's made such a great day today for all of us. And the planning and the effort that we put in and had to postpone, but kept hanging in there. And uh, it's been a, a wonderful day so far. wonderful to get to know Cameron and his family over the years and as parents you want the best for your daughter and then Cameron I think we got the best. Yeah. It's a pleasure to welcome Cameron into the family and it's a joy to get to meet all of you today. to watch the way they support each other and how happy they are and to see what they've achieved so far in their lives. And all, all I can say is just keep doing what you're doing and keep enjoying it. You've got good family, you've got an amazing set of friends. Yeah. <laughs> Here's to a long and wonderful life together. Lucy and Cameron. Cameron and Lucy welcome you here today to Kimberley Hall on the happy occasion of their marriage. I'm sure that it means a great deal to them that you are here to share in their happiness and celebrate with them the beginning of their married life together. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Lucy Ann Collins, to witness that I, Cameron Montrose James Craig, to take thee Lucy Ann Collins, to be my lawful wedded wife. Do you take thee, Cameron Montrose James Craig, to be my lawful wedded husband? Today will be a milestone in your lives which you can look back on with happiness and pride. From this day, 
May the ordinary things you share become special and the special things great. Cherish your love for each other. Enhance the potential you have as individuals and as a couple. And look to the future with a commitment that grows deeper and stronger as the years pass. There is a wonderful life ahead of you. Live it fully, love its changes, and let it amaze you and bring you great joy. I'm delighted to declare that you are now husband and wife together. Congratulations, and you may kiss your bride. Firstly, my beautiful wife. And I would like to say thank you to everyone here today. It's been a long time coming, 996 days since we got engaged, to be precise. The uncertainty and ups and downs caused by COVID have not helped the stress levels when it comes to wedding planning, but we're finally glad to be able to be here and celebrate with you all. Gary, Michelle, thank you for contributing and helping organise such a special day. We're very, very grateful. Michelle in particular has taken great pleasure in faffing around every logistical detail. <laughs> Who, who's, who's staying where? What are the timings? And more importantly, who's looking after Ralph? It's been exhausting. Um, a bigger thanks also for raising such an amazing daughter and for letting me marry her. I'd also like to thank my own mum and dad, not just for today, but for everything you've done for me, Sandy and Ewan, over the years. As blokes, I don't think we often show our gratitude, so I'd use this opportunity to do so. Growing up, you supported us in all our various pursuits, from the successful rugby, tennis, cricket, but also the weirder, short-lived pursuits we tried to dabble in. Roller hockey, airsoft, warhammer, <laughs> ma many failed attempts at musical instruments, fishing, the list goes on. I think you even supported me when I tried to audition for the Abbey Choir. Which, 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 which for any of you who have heard me sing, know that that was never going to end well. It was the summer of 2011 we were holiday holidaying in St Ives in Cornwall and Cameron was working but managed to come down to Cornwall, a good diligent son, and join us for the weekend. On arrival, he said, he said, Mum and Dad, I've got, I've got two pieces of news. One is good and one is bad. He said, well, I was reversing the car onto our driveway at home and I hit the gate post. I'm fine. The car's fine. I'm afraid the gate post now has a lean, a tilt. Well, rather underwhelming for bad news, so we weren't expecting much from the good news. But the good news is, he said, I have a girlfriend. Her name is Lucy. And with this simple piece of news, Lucy and her lovely family entered our lives, and here we are, ten years later. Now, I'm afraid to say we never got round to straightening the wonky gatepost. <laughs> A 
And you might be questioning why Lucy agreed to the proposal. <laughs> I have to admit, we've been a little bit biased and we have left out some of Cam's key other attributes. Uh, he really is one of the most genuine people you'll ever meet. He never has a bad word to say about anyone. He always has time for his friends and he's ready to give advice when you need it. He's completely besotted with Lucy and she couldn't have asked for a more committed and devoted partner. He genuinely has a massive willy. <laughs> Joking, all joking aside, all joking aside, as you can see from today, Lucy and Cameron really are meant to be together. They've grown as a couple over the last 10 years, and it's great to see them here today. Cam, you already know this, but putting the ring on Lucy's finger is definitely the best decision you've ever made. Yeah. Lucy, you really do look absolutely stunning tonight. The two of you, together with your dog, Ralph, make an incredible family. <laughs> And we know there are only more exciting times ahead. We couldn't be more honoured to speak on your special day, and we couldn't have asked for more genuine and loyal friends. We wish you both most a happy and wonderful future together. So please, can everyone be upstanding and raise a glass? So the the craigs. <laughs> I'll go back to when we first met. There's a few versions of this. The one Lucy likes to tell is of me tapping her on the shoulder in a lecture and telling her that she needs her roots doing. The, the treat, and mean treat and mean, keep them keen tactic clearly works, otherwise we wouldn't be here today. Matthew, Sandy, I'll give you a few tips on how to get a girlfriend later. My first memory is of our first geography trip. Everyone else on the course was your standard socks and sandals geography geeks. We had Lizzie, we had Sean, we had Ed. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lucy turned up head to toe in Jack Wills. Clearly the woman for me. <laughs> Although I must say, Jack Wills was so 12 years ago. You've got to move on, Ollie. After the fun of university, we entered into the real world together. Over the course of 10 years together this weekend, we've been through many challenges, adventures and successes together. Although it's cliche to say, we've shared many highs and lows. It's easy for, to forget now, but during the first couple of years post-uni, we lived separately in all different parts of the country, effectively only seeing each other at weekends. The long distances were hard, but also helped strengthen us as individuals and together as a couple. We've travelled to four continents, visited 17 different countries, We've had seven different employers. We've owned one flat, two houses, including an endless list of DIY projects, and now one dog. Such a good boy, that Ralph. <laughs> there have been uh, countless day trips, laughs, and nights out shared with many of you. Throughout all this, we've been a team. This is testament to Lucy's ambition, drive and competitiveness combined with a huge sense of kindness and caring. I'm sure everyone here will remember a time that Lucy has gone the extra mile for them, even if it's just a thoughtful little gesture. As Lucy says herself, the little things make a big difference. Her sense of fun and energy, even if it goes a little too far as demonstrated by the Hindu, <laughs> uh, bring joy to everyone around her, especially me. I'm incredibly lucky to have you in my life and can't wait for the next set of adventures together now that we're married. Final toast to my beautiful wife. Yeah.